Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kojak, and you might have heard of some of the rumors going around about the camos, the weed camo, and the, I want to call it the rainbow zebra camo. Well, those are actually camos. There's more than just that uh, couple, but they were found within the Call of Duty Ghost game files, and Infinity Ward's not really sure how people are equipped, uh, equipping these on their weapons and finding them, but the rumor is that they may turn these into, or they may have already been set up to be future personalization packs, just like we had in Black Ops 2, where you could get that with the reticle and stuff like that. But I'm going to end up showing you guys all of these. Uh, I'm getting this information off of Charlie Intel. They've got uh, pretty great up-to-date sources, and I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. But the first one, it looks like a a new gold camo, more of a glittery gold, uh, gold flakes. I think it looks better than the actual gold that we get. Uh, the gold we have now is just kind of plain. The second one that they show on the on the site here is not actually a new camo at all. It's the camo you receive when you buy the season pass. Third one is the weed one that everybody seems to know about. Um, it's the one that other than the zebra rainbow one is the most talked about. The next three of them, they've kind of got a theme going here other than a couple uh, different ones, but there's actually, let me see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ones that include uh, barbed wire in it. And the next three all have barbed wire, same pattern, just different background to that. And uh, you know, I'll show you guys those three as well here. Uh, the next one is glass breaking kind of like a shattering glass like a shattering window and the next two again barbed wire nothing really special about it one's gold one's silver a little bit different shade in the background um, next one you've got what looks to be ghost eight balls with gold chain and diamonds and you know the bling bling kind of thing uh, you've got uh, two more here that are both again barbed wire, nothing special. One of them is actually the same as the last two that we just looked at, the gold and silver one, just a different background, like a snake kind of pattern, scaliness. Um, and then, of course, you have the last one, which is the rainbow zebra. I'm not sure if that's really what they're going to call it, but that's exactly what it looks like. So, I don't know, just looking at these, and you guys now see the pictures and the video as I'm talking about it, what do you think about these becoming a personalization pack? I think that the Rainbow Zebra one and the Weed one will be obviously the most popular. I don't see the barbed wire ones really going anywhere compared to the other ones. Maybe the gold one a little bit here and there you see. But if they do decide to turn these into personalization packs, I will be quite disappointed. I think they can do a lot better seeing as they're trying to really up this game from other years. and throwing in personalization packs like that you know we got the holiday ones we got the wolf thing that's something new that we haven't seen with the changing a score streak or a kill streak itself as a DLC but it just seems a little weak to me that they can't if these do become personalization packs that they're not something better um, oh what would you guys like to see if these became part of the game um, and they started making more of them and uh, new ones off of su suggestions from other people. What would you like to see? What kind of stuff would you uh, like to be running on your gun or your assault shield and stuff like that? What would you pay $2 for an instance? Because you know that's what they're going to end up costing, a $1.99 bullshit that really doesn't. I mean, they shouldn't be that much. Maybe $0.99 cents per camo, but I think $1.99, if that's what they end up being priced at, it's a little high. But, you know, they just want their money. They don't... After a while, just like Black Ops 2, which really Activision never cared too much about what we thought, but everything just kind of started fading away and it became about money and not about the players and not about in-game experience. Just money, money, money. That's all anybody ever saw. Make sure you guys put in the comments section what you, got, what you think of the new, what could possibly be future personalization packs that we end up seeing with a chance to buy and run on our guns as a camo and maybe whatever else is included in it but yeah let me know what you think positive negative all feedback and information is good um, what one's your favorite 
I think that I would end up running, even though a lot of people would, would be the maybe the Rainbow Zebra. I'm not, unlike a lot of other people that play Call of Duty, I don't smoke a lot of weed, or really any weed, so I wouldn't want to represent myself with that one, even though it does look pretty good. But make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting out whatever information I see about DLC and some other stuff Call of Duty Ghost related right now, but it will end up being all game games related. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay in the background as well, and try to have fun with this game. I know a lot of people are just getting bored with it, but get a couple groups together, get a clan, play Clan Wars, you can start having fun. I'll talk to you guys later.